Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Wednesday, March 13th, and it is time for a Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. And today, it is the state semifinals as the 16-6-2 South champion Hopkinton Hillers take on the 16-5-2 North champion Lowell Red Raiders. It should be a great battle here tonight at the Songus Center at UMass Lowell, the home of the UMass Lowell Riverhawks and the host of this state semifinals game tonight. Two very talented teams that were able to win their sectional bracket and advance to this point. It is the first time in team history for the Hopkinton Hillers getting to this point. I believe Lowell has been here a handful of times, but certainly a new experience for the Hillers. But Eric, I think we're gonna see a great battle here tonight. It's just two very talented teams. Yeah, it is Tom, and you know, especially for the Hillers here, having a, uh, what we call a rebuilding year in some people's eyes, uh, that's certainly not the case. If they have just really come together as a full team and been able to get to this point that no other uh, team in school history has. Well, it certainly uh, takes a whole lot of talent and a whole lot of winning to get to this point, especially when you're in that south bracket, as are the Hopkinton Hillers. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have the player introductions and the national anthem. It's Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. My name is Karen. My name is Nina. I'm Gunny. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my Gal and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Thank you. 
And there you have it, the national anthem and the starting lineups as we are ready for hockey here at the Songus Center in Lowell, Massachusetts. It's the state semifinals matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Lowell Red Raiders. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz is our cameraman. And let's recap the starters just in case you missed it. For Lowell on the ice, Nicholas Manville defenseman, Andrew Kotsifas a forward, Benjamin Esselin a forward. On defense, Keegan Cote and Matt Esselin a forward. And in net, it's Patrick Cote. For the Hillers in net, Cole Thomas. On the ice, Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, Steve Simos, Ron Sheamus, and Tommy Hamlet. And we are underway here at the beautiful Songus Center in this state semifinals matchup. The furthest point the Hillers have ever been. It should be a whole lot of fun today. Here comes Rogers with a pass out, and it is intercepted by Cote along the near side. And now pass over by Simos to Sheamus, who will wrap it around. Simos along the near side boards up with Matt Aslan. And now Walsh with a shot and a goal! Just like that, one nothing Hillers. What a beauty of a shot there by Walsh. What a great play by Walsh. He came back, Steve Simos went down to pinch. Uh, Walsh came back to cover, picked the puck up, walked it to the middle, and nobody challenged him. He walked right in with a beautiful wrist shot. So the wrister by Walsh, and just like that, the Hillers lead. And we are just 36 seconds into action here in the first period. Sean Walsh in the face-off circle for the Hillers. Up against Thomas Hassett. Now Lowell trying to work into the Hillers zone. That puck is knocked out of play. Well, the Hillers, they got off to a rapid start against Ashland. And it took them a while, actually, in the first period to find their first goal. But they found a goal with 13 seconds left in the first period. And then added four more in the second period. And they got up early and made it very difficult for Ashland to get any kind of momentum. And you know they want to start off this game fast and furious. Here comes Simos, and it was nearly stolen away, and a good knock away there by Sheamus. And one of the key things to watch here, Tom, is a much bigger ice surface. Uh, so hopefully the Hillers can utilize that team speed that we've seen all year long to their advantage with a lot of room around behind the nets. A great atmosphere here as well. The Hillers fans have showed up in big numbers. Dan Kirk in the face-off circle for the Hillers up against Cameron Troll. Glyden flips it up over towards Weinstock. Now along the far side boards was Manville, but able to work past him was Kirk. And now along the far side, the wraparound by Weinstock. Tracked down along the near side as Quinlan gets in there for the Hillers up against Manville. And a near shot there by Sheamus was turned away by Keegan Cote. And we'll have a whistle here for Isaac. Hillers capitalizing a little miscommunication between the low goalie and his defenseman. And they, even though the Hillers were on a change, uh, we we're almost able to uh, capitalize on that uh, forecheck. 13-20 left to go in the first period. The Hillers up one to nothing here in the state semifinals matchup. The winner of this game advances on to take on Wachusett, who defeated Longmeadow via a shootout last night. Four to three was the final in that one. Sean Walsh, and now behind the net is Franchette for Lowell. Simos trying to get it over to Rogers. And now it's tracked down by Sean Spring. Lowell trying to work it back towards the neutral zone, but Sean Walsh going to get in there. Now so does Hamlet. And we'll have a whistle here for icing. Yeah, this was one big uh, advantage for the Hillers during the Ashland game as Ashland iced the puck several times, and the Hillers have been absolutely outstanding on faceoffs in the tournament, and they've been able to utilize those faceoffs and turn them into points. So see if that trend can continue. They scored, I believe it was twice, right off of a faceoff against Ashland. Kirk up against Hassett. Along the corner, tracked down by Cote. 
Ote will flip it up to the neutral zone. Hamlet was there, now here comes Lowell. Closing again, backhander, and it's, and it's denied by Cole Thomas. And then it's put out of play off the netting. That shot was by Thomas Hassett. Nice kick save there by Thomas. Thomas Hassett, certainly uh, someone you're going to have to look out for. 15 goals on the season, 25 assists, and second in team points for Lowell. Dan Kirk up against Hassett. Along the near side, Andrew Gilbert. Gilbert takes a hit into the boards from DeMarco. And now a shot here by Quinlan, and it's wrapped up by the goaltender, Patrick Cote. Good play there by Quinlan. Takes it to the center of the ice and able to get a shot off. Cote, on average, only gives up a little over two goals per game. John Walsh back into the game for the Hillers. Wins the faceoff once again. Gilbert trying to get it up to handle it. Now we have a breakaway for Lowell. Here comes Matt Asselin. Asselin along the near side. He'll take a hit into the boards from Gilbert. Trying to get the shot off, and it's turned away by Walsh. Now back to the Lowell zone it goes. Rogers closing in. Rogers with a steal there, and another goal! Rogers with a beauty of a feed to Hamlet! Two nothing Hillers! And there's that team speed, Tom. Uh, just a great play by Rogers getting down. He forced a defenseman to make that turnover, and Hamlet going right to the net. That goal comes with 12.03 left to go. Two nothing Hillers! Who would have thought? This Hillers team throughout this postseason has just been white hot, and it's continuing on to the state level so far. Cote. Two nothing Hillers. That one is defended nicely by Walsh off the stick of Cote. Cole Thomas set it up. And now the Hillers going to try to work back up the ice. Pass up to Rogers from Simos. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh with a breakaway opportunity here, racing in the shot. Go! Count it! 3 nothing Hillers! It's the Sean Walsh show! You couldn't ask for a better start to a game and a big playoff game for the Hillers. Just coming out on fire on all cylinders. The Hillers up 3 to nothing. They have five shots on goal and three goals. Wouldn't be surprised to see a timeout here by uh, Lowell to try to settle things down because that's a very quick start for the Hillers. And, and there we speaking go. of that, there you go. There's your timeout. What a start by the Hillers. Tremendous. Let's recap the goals. 36 seconds in, it was Sean Walsh with a beauty of a shot. And then at 12.03, Tommy Hamlet assisted by Kyle Rogers, a break up the ice. And then at 11.31, it was Sean Walsh up against the goaltender, Patrick Cote. And as usual, Sean Walsh won the battle to make it a 3-0 Hillers lead. And these Lowell fans seem to be stunned as they find themselves down big early on. Yeah, that's huge. You know, of course, Lowell uh, having the advantage of uh, being the home team here by, uh, by accident, but with a big crowd and being able to keep that crowd quiet in a venue like this is uh, another plus for the Hillers. But they are just dominating, and you know, their speed has uh, been great so far. And it just seems to be overwhelming a little bit for Lowell perhaps not used to this kind of pace. Franchette along the near side, fires it over. Lowell has some serious work to do. It's a three nothing lead for the Hillers. And Eric, you mentioned the size of the ice. It's certainly bigger playing here at a college arena. It seems to be affecting Lowell a lot more than it is the Hillers. Yeah, it looks like the Hillers just have the, uh, the better legs right now. And now a shot opportunity here, and that one's turned away. That was off the stick of Hassett. Nice defense by the Hillers. Racing up Quinlan, he'll wrap it around. Weinstock closing in, he'll meet up with Franchette along the board. And now Puck along the near side, Blyden trying to get to it. Quinlan with the pass over towards Walsh. Getting there to cut off Walsh was Hassett. And now here comes Lowell. Goulet with the puck, and there's a glove save by Thomas. Great defense by the Hillers there. They basically had a wall three across. So. 
Uh, Thomas to take those outside shots all day long. The Hillers have just been playing great defense throughout the tournament too. Just the, the, all the forwards are getting back, back checking, and the defense are keeping all those shots to the outside. In the sectionals, the Hillers outscored their opponents by a total of 20 to two. Unbelievable. They didn't give up a goal throughout the first three postseason games. The only goals they gave up the whole tournament so far was two to Ashland. And here comes Lowell here, cut off by Hamlet. And Glyden able to keep it away from the net. Lowell still working in the Hiller's zone. Behind the net is Matt Asselin. And now jammed up along the boards. Pass up to the blue line. There's a shot turned away by Thomas. That puck still loose. Glyden able to keep it away. And it's still in front. Now it's going to go in. That was off the stick of Andrew Kotsifas. Well, Thomas had some great saves there. And just that last one just trickled out enough for Lowell. It will take advantage of that. So it's a three to one game. Hiller's still up by two, but Lowell gets one back. Now the offensive players that Lowell has in their numbers, you knew they weren't gonna be able to keep them off for the whole night. We are just five minutes into action, already four goals combined in this game. Along the near side boards, Rogers trying to dig it out. He was looking for Simos. And now Lowell trying to break up the ice, but Sheamus had something to say about that. Tracked down behind the net by Hassett. Hassett meets up with Hamlet. And Rogers with a shot here, and it's out in front and wrapped up by Cote. Hamlet was trying to poke it in. Well, the Hill is finding some success of, of uh, having the Open shots on the slot there. They're doing a good job of getting the puck down low with these big corners and finding somebody out front. We'll have a face-off along the near side. Dan Kirk in there for the Hillers. Pass back towards Gilbert. Gilbert wraps it around and takes a hit. Quinlan getting in there now. Gilbert feeds it across. Weinstock. Weinstock racing around the net. And he'll put it back to, to the blue line of Gilbert. Now Quinlan leaves it out in front. Backhander Kirk turned away. And now here comes Hassett. Hassett racing up the far side for Lowell. Breakaway shot. And it's turned away by Thomas. But then the secondary shot is knocked in. And just like that, it's 3-2. Owen Goulet with the goal. 9-0-1 left to go. Well, Hill is unfortunately the forwards all get caught down low. Lowell was able to get a quick three on two. They definitely picked up their team speed. Well, the Hillers start this game off with three goals within the first three and a half minutes. But now the Red Raiders of Lowell have struck back in the past two and a half minutes with two goals of their own. We have ourselves a hockey game. Simos feeds that up the ice. And now it's taken away by Sean Walsh. Walsh racing in. Leaves it out in front and a goal by Hamlet! What a response by the Hillers! Walsh to Hamlet at 8.49 left to go. Again, just a great key face-off win by Walsh to start it and a beautiful passing play with Hamlet. Unreal. Five, six goals combined. I guess Already losing count. I guess that's why these teams are in the uh, semifinals. Six goals combined and we are just over six minutes into action. If this pace keeps up, we're going to see both of these teams get into the double digits. <laughs> Gamblet with the feet over to Simos. Simos with the pass up off the stick of Walsh. Wrapped around. Rogers trying to get to it. Manville cuts him off. BJ Anderson. And now Walsh able to knock it back into the little zone. Picked up by Manville. 4-2 Hillers, 8-18 left to go in this first period. Rapid scoring early on. In the corner, Hamlet leaves it out in front. That was off of Rogers. Tracked down along the far side by B.J. Anderson. And a nice move along the boards there by Simos. Hamlet trying to get to it, leaves it out in front. He was looking for Walsh, and it just gets by Walsh. Simos going to go back and track it down. And the Hillers are just finding themselves wide open in the slot. Here comes Simos racing up the far side. Leaves it out in front. There's a shot turned away by Cote. 
That was off the stick of Kirk, and now Lowell has a breakaway at three out of one coming up the ice. There's a shot and a goal. Thomas has it, makes it four to three. That goal comes with 7.34 left. What an unreal start to this game. You're getting your money's worth in this first seven and a half minutes. Yeah, it's definitely going to be uh, offense for sure. Uh, Lowell's got some uh, pretty good goal scores. The Hill's got to be careful that they uh, don't pitch down too low. That's another odd man break. Lowell with possession. Well, the Lowell fans certainly back into it, and we'll have an offsides here. Or icing, rather. 7.28 left to go. The Hillers scored the first three goals of the game. Lowell responded with two of their own. And actually, the Hillers scored the first yeah, the first three goals of the game. Lowell responds with two of their own. Hillers make it four to two. And now Lowell has made it four to three. There's your first seven and a half minutes in a nutshell. Gilbert puts that one up the far side. Quinlan gets there and it's deflected off a stick of a Red Raider. Back to the Lowell zone it goes. Up the near side. Here comes Hassett and he'll take a body check. Up along the boards now. Back ice for Lowell is Manville. Great defensive play there by the Hillers. Well, it might be uh, all about which one of these teams gets more tired first. In the Hillers zone, turned away by Quinlan. Back to the blue line. There's a shot wide to the right by Cote. Out in front now, in the danger zone. The Hillers quick to get defensemen in the slot, but it was stolen away behind the net. Now Cole Thomas going to wrap it up off the stick of Kotsifas. Well, if there's any jitters, that uh, went right out the door after warm-ups because <laughs> these teams came ready to play. They know what's at stake here. They certainly do. Sean Walsh up against Thomas Hassett. I don't think I've ever seen scoring this rapid in one of these games. Unbelievable. Simos. A 4 to 3 Hillers lead. 6.30 left to go. And yes, the first period. Walsh on a breakaway. The shot. Goal! Sean Walsh! Already with a hat trick, and we're in the first period. Just unbelievable. The, the Hillers just making the use of the uh, the outside lanes there and the speed to be able to make that puck and, and play that right down the sideboards and watch with a beautiful shot top corner. That goal comes with 6.25 left in the first period. Hillers 5, Lowell 3. And we still have a whole lot of time left in the first period. Hamblett, pass up around the boards. Rogers catches up to it. Walsh with a shot, and that is deflected away. I think that went off the butt end of the goalie stick. Jammed up along the near side corner. Hamblett trying to dig it out. He was looking for Rogers, And it almost seems like whatever one of these teams is able to hang on to possession for a little bit is going to come up with a goal. Quick break here for Lowell. Here comes Polkari. Polkari with a shot glove save Thomas. And some pushing and shoving going on between Simos and Kevin Conley for Lowell. That was quickly broken up. 5.52 left to go in the first period. The Hillers five, Lowell three. Action packed hockey here at the Saugus Arena in Lowell, Massachusetts. Along the near side is Asselin. We'll wrap it around the net. Saparoshitz tracks it down. Back to the blue line. There's a shot and a save by Thomas. That was off the stick of Manville. And Cole able to see that one all the way. We'll have a face-off at 5.41 left to go. Well, both teams are shooting 50% uh, or better <laughs> at this point in the game. That shot wide to the left by Pickett. Along the far side, Kirk trying to get in there, along with Weinstock. Lowell with possession. There's a shot and a save by Thomas off the stick of Michael Pickett. Well, the Hills will take those, you know, out, outside with plenty of room for uh, Thomas to see those coming in. You know, Lowell's got some dangerous plays, much of this line that's out there now. They want to make sure they keep them to the outside. Don't let them get in for any rebounds. Walsh up against Hassett. Turn back to the blue line to Spring. And now it's 
Nearly stolen away. Hamlet trying to race in there and break away with it. Over to the near side, tracked down by DeMarco. Turned away by Walsh. Now with possession, Hassett leaves it for Franchette. Along the near side, played off the stick of Hamlet. Pass up, but Simos is there. And now it's up to Walsh. Walsh with a long shot wide to the left. Flips that into the corner. Rogers trying to dig it out. Walsh gets in there now. Back up along the near side of Simos. Puts it across over to Sheamus, who will knock it around. And it's tracked down by Spring, and there's a shot wide to the left from Walsh. And now here comes Lowell. Not so fast as Sean Walsh, but Thomas Hassett gets it back. Hassett is denied. Now a shot opportunity here, turned away by Thomas. And the secondary backhander by Goulet as well turned away. Hamlet with a nice move up the far side. Walsh turns it up. The offside. And we'll have an offside stoppage here. 418 left to go in the first period. The Hiller is 5, Lowell 3. An unbelievable scoring fest to start things off here at the Songus Arena. Dan Kirk up against Cameron Troll. Gilbert will put it around. I wonder if there's any uh, UMass Lowell Scouts here tonight. <laughs> Got a lot to look at if they are. <laughs> certainly do. Jammed up along the near side, Quinlan, along with two Red Raiders, and now Kirk getting in there. And it squirts out back to the Hiller's zone. Gilbert will track it down. And Gilbert was hoping someone was there, but the only one there was Polkari for Lowell. But then Polkari was quickly surrounded. Lyden will flip it around towards Quinlan. And a, a big hit delivered by Dan Kirk on Conley. Along the far side. And Weinstock able to get there. Back and forth we go in the Hillers defensive zone. And now around the net area is Asselin looking for a shot. He'll put it back to the blue line. And Thomas turns that one away. Still out in the slot. And knocked up the ice by Kirk. And that'll stay in play as it went right towards the goaltender, Patrick Cote. Great coverage in front. The Hillers able to get that rebound right out. Sheamus flips it off the boards. Hamlet leaves it for Walsh. Walsh racing in. And there's a shot turned away by Cote. Hamlet along the near side. And now it squirts back out towards Simos in the neutral zone, and he'll wrap it around. Tracked down by Cote. Less than three minutes left to go in the first period. The scoring was absolutely rapid all period long, but in the last four minutes or so, it's calmed down. And as I say that, Rogers with a shot there turned around, turned away by Cote. Uh, Cote's given up a lot of rebounds, though. The Hill is going to be able to take advantage. Simos wide to the left. Simos had a couple of wonderful goals against Ashland. Hamlet gets it out in front. There's a shot, and it is wrapped up by Cote. And Walsh was pointing towards something. Nice save there. The Hill is taking those outside shots, and Cote's kicking them right back towards the front, so the Hill is going to plant themselves out there for those rebounds. And I think uh, what Cote should probably do is wrap up more of those. <laughs> Behind the net, turned away by Kirk over to, towards Weinstock. Weinstock jammed up along the boards. Sheamus along the far side. Turned back up by Quinlan. Wrapped around to the near side, Kirk trying to get there. Backhander by Weinstock. And we get a stoppage here. Right into the box. Puck out of play, 2.05 left to go in the period. Hillers five, Lowell three. And perhaps we're, we're going to see a little defense for the next couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think we're a couple game. days early for the uh, BU Lowell game. Let's see a Friday night. <laughs> Dan Kirk up against Hassett. Up the far side, Sean Spring. He'll flip it around. Tracked down by Gilbert. Takes a hit into the corner. Up the near side now. Trying to race away is DeMarco. DeMarco meeting up with Saporoshitz. And there's a shot for Lowell. And Thomas with a beauty of a save. Yeah, he came up big there. Uh, able to sneak out in front and that, get that pass out there. Thomas was ready for it. Goulet was trying to go five hole with that one. But Cole Thomas with a quick reaction. Sean Walsh up against Andrew Kotsifas. 
Sheamus. Wraps it around towards Hamlet. Just past the reach of Rogers. Turned away by the goaltender, Cote. Up along the near side we go. Walsh trying to look for Hamlet. Hamlet will wrap it back around towards Sheamus. Sheamus banged up against the boards. And now trying to turn it around to Walsh was Hamlet. Walsh couldn't get the shot off. Puck gets, just on edge. Yeah. Simos up to Walsh. Walsh with a shot opportunity here. And that's turned away off a defender. Sheamus. Gets it across over to Simos. Simos flips it up the far side. Less than a minute left to go in this crazy, crazy first period. Hamlet getting in there. Up behind the net. Tied up with Hassett. Trying to sneak it out. Rogers racing in, has it just able to get it away. Now Walsh with possession. There's a shot out in front. Hamlet, and now Rogers with the flip. And Rogers on the secondary yeah. shot, and that's in! Go, Hillers! Hillers just taking advantage of that open ice in the slot there, just battling for pucks and being open, and just staying right on top. Great play by Rogers. Kyle Rogers sticking with it, getting a couple shots off. And he puts one in off the deflection. Six to three, Hillers. 34.8 seconds left. And yes, the first period. <laughs> Dan Kirk up against Thomas Hassett. Up along the far side now. Kirk trying to track it down. Non-stop action here. And that one's wrapped up off the stick of Quinlan. Well, if I told you, Eric, that the Hillers were going to have six goals in the first period here, would you have believed me? I would not. And a nine total for both teams, I would never believe that at this stage of the game. Total craziness. It may not be done. Perhaps these two teams are ready for the college level. <laughs> Back to the Hillers zone. That'll draw the whistle. Yeah, we still got ten seconds to go, and the Hillers prowess on the face-offs this tournament. We've talked about it and talked about it. And wouldn't be surprised to see them win another one here with their set plays. And Sean Walsh already has a hat trick here in the first period. Tommy Hamlet with a pair of goals. Kyle Rogers also with a goal. It's a scoring fest here. Five seconds left to go in the period. Tied up along the near side. And squirts out towards Hassett. And that'll do it for period number one. It seems like we just went through a whole game here, but that was just the first period. And at the end of one, it's the Hopkinton Hillers six, the Lowell Red Raiders three. Pretty unbelievable stuff, Eric. Just an unbelievable start. Uh, you know, the Hillers just, just scored three goals like that. At, uh, you know, this late into the playoffs when you're playing the semifinals, you expect them to play the best of the best, and three quick goals is really the best way to set a tone in a game like this. Well, I'm going to have my work cut out for me when I go to do the <laughs> highlight package. But after one period of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 6, the Lowell Red Raiders 3, a whole lot more hockey coming up. You're certainly not going to want to miss out. Who knows what's going to happen in this game. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Hockey on HCAM. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it, to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Welcome back to the Saugus Arena. We are ready for the second period, a nine goal first period. The Hillers leading six to three. As we enter the second period, that is not a joke. It is a six to three game. Eric, uh, was the defense just non-existent in that first period? Uh, yeah, you know, it just it was just unbelievable the way both these teams 
uh, were just able to utilize their uh, strengths. Let's good, good defense there for some at the end, but uh, just overwhelming offense, I think, is the, the key so far. It certainly was. Let's recap the goals. 36 seconds in, Sean Walsh made it one to nothing. 12.03 left to go. Tommy Hamlet made it two to nothing, assisted by Kyle Rogers. 11.31 left to go. Sean Walsh scored his second goal of the game to make it three nothing Hillers. 10.05 left to go. Andrew Katsifas scored the first low goal to make it three to one. 9.01 left to go. It was Owen Goulet making it three to two. 8.49 left to go. Tommy Hamlet scored his second goal to make it four to two. 7.34 left to go. It was Tommy Hassett for Lowell making it 4-3. And then at 6.25, Sean Walsh made it 5-3 with his third goal of the game. Already a hat trick for Sean Walsh as the puck knocked out of play. And then at 34.8 seconds left to go, Kyle Rogers put the Hillers up 6-3. Unreal. Yeah, going to be tough to sustain this pace. But, uh, you know, for the Hillers, they just they continue to be able to operate in that slot. We have switched ends. Rogers with a shot, a glove save by Cote. And just like that, another key faceoff win. And well, uh, Rogers able to walk right in, get a clean shot off. And that shot comes 11 seconds in to the second period. It looks like uh, Lowe's going to put out their top line now. It gets Hopkins his top line. They don't want this to get away from right off the bat of this period. I think this could be a very long game tonight. Already our third faceoff, 11 seconds in to the second period. That's wrapped around by Seamus Hamlet, trying to get to it along the near side. He's trying to squirt it out towards Walsh. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by Cote. Well, that, that was going short side. Cote already having to wrap a couple up. Well, we're going to change up again. Try to find someone that can cover this top line of the Hillers. <laughs> They're just having all kinds of trouble keeping up with this Hillers speed. Sean Spring with possession along the near side. He flips it up and now racing in is Rogers. And it's taken by Spring. And now it's intercepted. Here comes Hamlet. And now he's quickly cut off. Sheamus trying to dig it out of the boards along the near side. And now it's taken by Asselin. And he'll wrap it around. Rogers gets in there. And he'll take a hit. Butsy Foss gets to it for Lowell. And it's taken by Sean Spring. Well, we've played a minute of the second period, and there hasn't been a goal yet. It remains a 6-3 to three Hillers lead. We're tuned in to the state semifinals game for Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. The winner of this advances to the state championship to take on Wachusett. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call. John Ritz on camera here at the Saugus Arena in Lowell. Along the near side, flipped up by Weinsock. And now out in front looking for Quinlan there, but it was shot just past him. And now Aslan will wrap it around for Lowell as they'll make another change. Biden gets it up to Quinlan, and Quinlan pokes it off the boards. Taken by Cote, pass over to the near side. Here comes Mandeville. Simos flips it up to Weinstock. Now it's handled by Hassett. Backhanded pass, and that's intercepted by Kirk. Hill Kirk. is doing a great job in the neutral zone. Just not letting Lowell even get anything in. The Lowell gets to the red line, they try to dump it in. The Hillers are able to block it or knock it down with sticks and gloves. And the Hillers, they look uh, pretty collected out there. They, they, don't see, they seem to be very calm. Yeah, that's really the key to the playoff games, too, especially when you've never been this far. The, the key is just to try to take it like another game, even though it isn't. Along the far side. And now Lowell on a bit of a break here. Here comes DeMarco. And now it's handled by Gilbert. He'll flip it up towards Walsh. And it's dropped by Manville. There's a shot turned away by Thomas. Nice wrister there, but Thomas able to turn it away. Now jammed up along the near side. Sheamus leaves it for Walsh. Walsh trying to break away here. Walsh. Almost had the breakaway, but Manville got in front of him. And now it's intercepted by Rogers. Up to Walsh. Here comes Walsh along the far side. Leaves it behind to Rogers. The shot, and it is no good as Hamlet was in front of the net trying to sneak it in. Yeah, I think Lowell's finally uh, getting wise to uh, leaving the Hillers open in the slot there. That time, uh, good coverage on Hamlet. He wasn't quite able to break free to get that nice pass out front. 
Another face-off in the Red Raiders zone. There remains a 6-3 lead for the Hillers about three minutes in. Weinstock is able to flip that one up and Cote forced to cover it up. He didn't see that at first. He thought it was going over and it was just dribbling down in front of him. Well, notice how uh, Cote's covering up a lot more in this uh, second period so far. A little gun shy. Kirk on the faceoff for the Hillers. Over to the blue line. Simos tripped up a little bit. Just kind of lost his footing. Far side handled by Simos. Turned up ice by Quinlan. Quinlan and Weinstock closing in on Hassett. Along the near side now. Handled by Saparoshitz. There's a shot and a glove saved by Cote. The Hillers continuing to get some great shots off in this second period. Both teams switching up the talent on the ice. I want to congratulate the Dover Sherborne boys basketball team. They won their state semifinals game tonight. They're heading to the state championship for boys division three in basketball. Congratulations to the Dover Sherborne Blue Raiders. The Westboro Rangers in action right now in the high school hoop state tournament as Saparoshitz puts it up the near side. Looking for Sheamus. Around the boards it goes. Rogers trying to close in. Lowell maybe with a break here. Here comes Asselin. There's a shot and a glove save by Thomas. Good by play there by the defense. Just keeping Lowell up high, making him shoot that thing from outside. Well, Thomas has been put to work here tonight. He's given up three goals so far, and he's saved nine. Hillers with 15 shots on net, and they have six goals. That one is turned away by Thomas as well. Flipped up by Rogers. Back to the blue line it goes. Past the reach of Franchette. Just got away from him, but DeMarco able to get there and pass it over to the near side to Hassett. Now up, back towards the neutral zone. Rogers was trying to get in front of it. Now a nice job there by Hamlet, getting the stick on it and diverting Hassett away. Glyden up behind the net. Takes a push out in front, there's a shot, and it's turned away. Another good save there by Thomas. Lowell trying to put the pressure on. 10.25 left to go and counting in the second period. A much more calmer period so far than what we saw in the first. A 6-3 Hillers lead. All nine goals in this game came in the first period. Lowell's definitely picking up their forecheck, trying to put a little pressure on the Hillers. Here's a break. Here's Rogers. Rogers with an opportunity to watch the shot. And it's no good. It was denied by Cote. What a save. That was a great save there. That was a beautiful two-on-one play. Cote was just able to get low enough to knock that one away as Walsh was trying to sneak it in the five hole. Yeah, Walsh just had to wait that extra second for the puck to get to his stick. Didn't have enough time to try to roof it. And we'll have another face off in the Red Raiders zone. Weinstock puts it over towards the far side of Quinlan. Wraps it around, looking for Kirk. And that's Weinstock along the near side corner, jammed up along the boards. Kirk trying to leave it out for Quinlan. And Sheamus able to put it back in the Lowell zone. Tracked down by Cote. And now here comes Lowell with a potential break. B.J. Anderson, but getting in front of him was Hamlet. Up the near side we go. Back to the neutral zone. Manville nearly had it, but Kirk able to skate away. But getting in front of Kirk there was Polkari. Wide to the left on the attempt there by Weinstock, and then it sent out of play. How about the view for calling this game time? We can just see the whole action unfold right here in front of us. It, you certainly can't beat it. We're right at mid-ice. It doesn't get any better than this. And we'd like to thank the staff here at the Saugus Arena for setting us up beautifully and taking very good care of us. Certainly a treat to come to this fine establishment. Lowell trying to work back up into the Hillers zone. Here comes Hamlet. Hamlet with the steal, the shot, and it's turned away by Cote. A secondary shot by Rogers, turned away. 
And now along the near side, Hamlet trying to dig it out. And now getting in there is Walsh. Back and forth we go along the near side boards. Here comes Lowell. Stolen away by Rogers, flips it up. And now it's pulled down by Franchette. And now it's stolen away. Here comes Rogers. Around a Red Raider, the shot, and it's saved by Cote. And I think Hamlet might have got a piece of it as well. Now Rogers going with the over between the leg shot in order to get that off. Well, some great goaltending in the second period, especially yeah. compared to what we saw in the first period. Yeah, Hill is doing a real good job at the top of the blue line, keeping that puck in. Lowe's trying to break it out in that initial pass. The Hiller forwards are jumping on it and keeping it in the zone. Another face off here, shot by Rogers wide to the right. Along the far side it goes. DeMarco trying to chase it down. Walsh and DeMarco tied up. DeMarco comes away with it. Here comes Lowell. DeMarco on a break, might have a shot opportunity here, but then got a little bit diverted as Saperoshitz was putting the pressure on. Walsh puts it up the boards, Hamlet now with a pass over to Rogers. Here comes Rogers racing up the far side. Rogers with a shot, and that is just a little bit wide there. Saperoshitz back along the near side. And he'll squirt back to the Hiller zone, closing in on eight minutes left to go in the second period. Walsh with a backhanded pass up the far side of Rogers, who will flip it up to the neutral zone. And now here comes Hamlet. Hamlet with a shot opportunity here, but getting his stick out was Manville. Good defensive play there by the junior, Nick Manville. And even when the Hill is just trying to clear it, it ends up on their sticks. Well, uh, very different story so far in the second period compared to what we saw in the first. Up along the near side it goes. Gilbert trying to get there, up against Goulet. Goulet flips it over to the far side. Saparoshitz trying to turn it away. And now it's taken by Polkari. Polkari racing up behind the net. And now joining in on the fun, Conley along the near side. Gets into the corner and tied up with Gilbert. Conley going to flip it back around. Looking for Polkari. Saparoshitz, the backhanded pass, but he couldn't get it past Polkari. And now it's jammed up along the far side boards. Quinlan trying to dig it out up against Cameron Troll. Saparoshitz and Kirk also getting in on the action. You got two Red Raiders and three Hillers tied up along the boards. And now it squirts out. Quinlan with the pass. Lowell has it. There's a shot wide to the left. Goes Spring on the shot attempt. Up behind the net now. And racing up the near side is Weinstock, but it's going to roll all the way back into Lowell territory, and that'll draw the whistle. Well, it looks like the Hillers are going to be short-handed here. Looks like Saparoshas is going to go something behind the play. Uh, I guess it's going to be even up. We got them both. Luckily, you saw them both. So both teams are going to have one in the penalty box. That'll keep it at a five on five. Six forty-seven left to go in the second period. It remains a six-three Hillers lead. It's been quite a while since we saw a goal, Eric. <laughs> Seems like a whole game ago. <laughs> well, on the near side, there's a shot wide to the left. Goes Asselin. On the far side, trying to get it out in the middle. There's a shot from the high slot, tied up by Thomas. Up the stick of Asselin. Good rebound control there, too, by Thomas. As it was a uh, low player right out front. It certainly was. We'll have a face-off in the Hiller's zone. Walsh up against Conley. That's uh, Kratzefoss, rather. Hamlet able to knock it up the ice, and that'll draw the whistle. A little too much on that one. 6.25 left to go in the second period. It was a scoring fest in the first period. All nine goals in this game came in the first 15 minutes. But in the second period, both teams pitching a shutout so far. Walsh up against Hassett. Walsh wins that battle. Simos. Pass up the far side. Rogers with a good feed of Hamlet. Now Walsh racing in. And there goes Walsh. And it's turned away. What a save by Cote. Unbelievable save by the senior goaltender for Lowell. Great breakout play. The Hill is using that patented breakout from their own end. Well, in the first period, it just seemed like Cote couldn't Stop Walsh at all. Simos with a shot turned away. Simos able to pick it up along the near side. Leaves it out, and Hamlet! And that was deflected away. A nice save by Cote again. Hamlet put a lot of power onto that one. Walsh trying to leave it out in front for Simos. And now Lowell has it. Here comes Hassett. Hassett racing up the far side. 
The backhanded pass, there's a shot turned away by Thomas. And now still out in front in the danger zone, another great save by Thomas. Off the stick of Hassett. And now up along the near side it goes. The action starting to pick up in the second period, a great steal by Simos. And now it's taken back and there's a long shot off the glove of Thomas from Hassett. Simos flips it up. Up along the far side it goes. And a glove save there by Thomas, and he will hold on to it as closing in was Asselin. Now the goalies are claiming this period as theirs, as uh, both goalies are coming up big here, especially Cote. I mean, the Hillers easily could have had another three goals with some great plays in them. He came up really big on three big ones there in the last couple minutes. He certainly has. 5.08 left to go in the second period. Back to the blue line. And when you think about the three goals that uh, the Hillers gave up. I mean, they only gave up two in the entirety of the sectionals, and that was through four games. Pretty unbelievable stuff as Quinlan gets tied up with Kotsifas. And there's a shot. And that was turned away by a defender off the stick of Ben Asselin. And now Luke Leiden catches up to it and gets it over to the near side, looking for Weinstock. And that's poked down by Asselin. And then knocked back up to the neutral zone from Gilbert. Gilbert with the pass up over to Quillen. Now Kirk racing in, and he takes a big hit there. Lowell able to put it back into the Hiller's zone. That'll draw the whistle. 4.20 left to go. It's great to see the Hillers, uh, they just did that to Asher in the last game, uh, the last good chance by Walsh uh, with the set face off and they're able to just tic-tac-toe the puck with passes up for a 2-1-1. Sean Walsh up against Tommy Hassett, Rogers back to Sheamus, he'll wrap it around. Rogers trying to track it down. Up behind the net it goes, tied up along the near side. And now squirting back out over to the far side boards. Franchette catches up with it. Hamlet gets a stick on it. He was looking for Rogers. Now there's Walsh putting it wide to the right. Rogers trying to poke it away from Spring. And now Simos, his shot's deflected off of DeMarco. Up along the near side, Walsh. And it's stolen away by Kuzek. Back up the far side. Simos will track it down. Up to Rogers. Now backhander there. And it's knocked out of play. Up along the near side. Well, great atmosphere here at the Saugus Arena today. Lowell certainly with a whole lot of support, but the Hillers fans showing up in big numbers, taking the journey up here to the beautiful Saugus Arena. Yeah, they pack born and they pack in the house here. It's like they're having a seventh player for the Hillers. And they're hoping to be packing the TD Garden this coming Sunday. Simos with the flip up the far side. Tracked down along the near side by Hamlet. Puts it just past the reach of Pickett. And now here's Dan Kirk. Kirk thought about the shot, hesitated, trying to leave it out in front instead. And now Simos was trying to rip one. Out in front and trying to poke it through is Quinlan, but it's wrapped up by Cote. Good pass out front by Kirk. I'd say the goaltending has improved about 100% on both <laughs> sides in the second period. After the shock and awe of the, the first for Cote, he's uh, settled down a little bit here, making some nice stops. I think the goaltender said, all right, let's stop letting these teams have a shootout and save something. Along the far side, Leiden's sh shot is deflected by Pickett. Now back to the neutral zone, Gillette. And now racing up is Hassett. Hassett with an opportunity, turned away! And wrapped up by Thomas, what a save! And a little pushing after the fact will draw the attention of the officials. How about Cole Thomas? Yeah, Thomas matching Cote, save for save. Well really, that's Walsh you have to look out for on the Hillers on those breakaways. And then you got Thomas Hassett on Lowell. 15 goals on the season, 25 assists. They yeah, made a nice move there to get around the defense. Up along the far side, back to the neutral zone, and it's turned back to the Hillers zone by Spring. Jammed up along the near side boards now, closing in on two and a half minutes left to go in the second period. Hamlet squirts it up to Rogers. Rogers with an opportunity here. 
Rogers trying to turn it around. Getting in front of him was Franchette. And now getting in on the actions, Hassett. Tied up along the corner, and it's taken by Franchette. Franchette with the pass up the far side, and now back across to Goulet. Got away from Goulet, and Gilbert able to get a stick on it, but then Hassett races in. Glyden with possession, and it's intercepted. Here comes Lowell, and quickly turned away by Gilbert as Hassett was looking for another breakaway. Yeah, Hiller's uh, going to have the forwards come back a little bit closer. Don't want to try making that long a pass with the talent that Lowell has. 156 left to go in the second period. A 6-3 to three lead for the Hillers. All nine goals came in the first frame. This second frame has been all about the defense and the goaltending. Good face off there by Dan Kirk. Here comes Simos. Simos with the flip up towards Quinlan. I'm going to play it off of Quinlan. Bull winning the possession battle over the last couple of minutes. But there's been some tremendous goaltending by Cole Thomas. We'll have a face off now in the Red Raiders zone. Clark stopped at 136. And Hill is uh, doing what they've been doing all playoff long. They've been dominating the, the faceoffs all throughout the tournament and continue to do so again tonight. Dan Kirk up against Andrew Kotsifas. Racing around the net, Cote. Up the near side, Simos. Flips it around towards Quinlan. Quinlan able to poke it forward. Dan Kirk now racing up the ice. Kirk turns it around. Nice play by Kirk there. Kirk with a shot, and that's just a little bit wide. Then a secondary shot. A little wide by Hamblet. Hamblet put that one off the side of the net. Now Hamblet trying to leave it in the slot. Kirk trying to turn it around. And he'll leave it for Quinlan, and it's in! Dan Kirk on the assist. Will Quinlan on the goal. And the Hillers have broken through just under a minute left to go in the second period. 7-3, Hopkinton. That play all started with Kirk. Kirk was uh, alone by himself in the corner, used the boards, got around two defenders, came out front, and was able to control that puck, get a shot off, and then they got the rebound back out front. A beauty of a goal. And the Hillers have the last three goals in this game. It was 4-3 to three with 7.34 left to go in the first. And the Hillers have scored three times since then. 59.3 seconds left as we'll have a face-off at center ice. Walsh up against Aslan. Turned up ice by Hartquist. And Rogers was trying to race in for a shot opportunity. Walsh able to get the stick on it. Along the near side it goes. And now out in front, Hamlet was trying to squirt a shot through. And now it's tied up behind the net. Hill is going to go on the power play with Tripp as he was coming out of the corner. Well, if you're Lowell, you have to be getting a little frustrated at this point. Yeah, they've given the Hillers everything they got. And Thomas making some big stops. And the Hill is finally getting to Cote in this period. Cole Thomas has been sensational in this second period. 17 shots on goal for Lowell, 22 for the Hillers, but the difference is the Hillers are leading this game 7-3. to three. Along the near side, Green able to flip it over. Walsh turns it up the far side boards, Hamblet. Hamblet back up to Gilbert. Gilbert with a shot, and that's turned away out in front now. And it's handled by Cote. Back to the Hiller zone it goes. And Simos tracks it down. He'll shoot it. And that'll do it for the second period. A great second period for the Hillers. They pitch a shutout against a very good Lowell Red Raiders offense. And they score another goal of their own. 
to go up by four as we head into the final frame. Eric, certainly a different story in the second period compared to what we saw in the first. He did, yeah. The Hill is still getting their chances, uh, but uh, you know, Cote coming up real big to keep Lowell in this game. Only, only down four goals. It could be a lot, a lot bigger. And uh, Lowell starting to show a little bit more offensive prowess. They're getting some shots off on Thomas. So come the third period, the Hill is just going to play a smart third period. They don't have to do anything fancy. They certainly don't want to play the prevent defense. Uh, they want to still be uh, active and aggressive, but they just want to make sure they get the pucks in deep and not give up any odd man rushes. Well, we still have a whole other period to go. It should be a whole lot of action as this entire game has been. At the end of two, it's the Hopkinton Hillers 7, the Lowell Red Raiders 3. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers State Semifinals Hockey on HCAM. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. And welcome back to the Saugus Arena. We are ready for the third period. The Hopkinton Hillers currently leading Lowell seven to three. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi on the call. John Ritz on camera for this state semifinals game. The winner tonight advances on to the state championship to take on Wachusett, who defeated Longmeadow last night via a shootout. Four to three was the final in that game. And the Hillers hoping to advance to their first hockey state championship in program history. And right now they are competing in their first state semifinals game in program history. And that second period certainly went the Hillers way as they outscored Lowell one to nothing. The Hillers defense picked up and Cole Thomas, he was just unbelievable, Eric. Yeah, and just a great uh, story for this whole group of players, like we said earlier. Uh, you know, this was thought that it was going to be a rebuilding year for the Hillers as they you know, lost the uh, all-time leading scorer last year and the Delaney brothers. But this team has really come together as a team. They have, you know, Sean Walsh, the standout, and Tommy Hamlet and Steve Simos. But they have just played as a team unit all throughout these playoffs, and that's the difference. And we are ready to go for the final 15 minutes of regulation. A great atmosphere here at the Songus Arena. The fans have showed up on both sides in big numbers as Walsh will wrap that around. Over to the far side it goes, where it's picked up briefly by Hamlet. Over to Rogers, he goes. Now turned around to Simos. Simos along the far side, and he was contested. Gilbert will track it down. We've still got a minute left on the power play here. Yep. That's right, Hillers with the man advantage. And here comes Walsh. Walsh racing in. Trying to wrap it around Hamlet, and now that shot turned away off the stick of Rogers. Almost a pass, just an inch too far. It was a good feed by Hamlet over to Rogers. Here comes Walsh. Walsh trying to get to the pass from Simos, but it got a little too far in front of him. And I'm not sure why Lowell's not uh, keeping a better eye on Walsh there uh, with his speed there. He already burned him once on the side there. Luckily that pass didn't connect or. He would have been in alone for another chance. Power play has it. There are 32 seconds left on the power play, rather. 14.02 left to go in this third period. The Hiller is up by four. Can they hang on? And Thomas is going to turn that one away. He was trying to wrap it up, but fortunately he was at least able to push it away off the stick of Sean Spring. Turned up the near side by... Ranchette, and I believe that was put out of play. A rare face-off lose for the Hillers in their own end there, but uh, Thomas was ready. Another face-off coming, this time at center ice. Over to the far side it goes, Sheamus tracks it down. And if you're the Hillers, Really, you just kind of want to play keep away here with the four goal lead. Yeah, you want to keep the pressure on, but you want to definitely play smart hockey. No pucks in the shin pads, get pucks in deep, don't try to make an extra move. 
Here comes Lowell on a break. DeMarco racing in. DeMarco around the net trying to leave it for Hassett. The Hill is doing a great job there, forcing him wide. Just past the reach of Sheamus. Sheamus up behind the net. And trying to play keep away with Goulet. Sheamus and Goulet tied up along the near side. And the puck squirts out towards Saparoshitz. Kirk takes a hit from Cote. And now Lowell has it back in their defensive zone. Franchette racing up. And it's handled by Sheamus. Gets it across to Weinstock. Will pop it off the boards. Now Dan Kirk racing up. But he won't get there in time. Power play has expired. 12.41 left to go. Hiller's up by four. But of course, you can't get too comfortable with this Lowell team, they have a number of good shooters on the roster. Yeah, there's a lot of players with points on that, uh, that first line there. You can't count them out. The Hillers trying to hang on and advance to the state championship. For Division Three. Gilbert pops it over to Rogers. And now that was turned around by Trull. And back and forth we go. Trull trying to get there, but Walsh able to get by him. And get it over to Hamlet. Hamlet with a shot, trying to leave it for Walsh, a little too far in front of him. Up along the near side it goes. Racing up the ice now is Asselin. And it's turned away by Glyden. And now just out in front, and that shot was turned away by Glyden and Thomas. The off the stick of Asselin. Gilbert doing a great job getting a stick on the forward there to keep him from getting that rebound. Up along the near side. Back to the low zone now, under 12 to play. And it's poked out by Kirk. Kirk with a shot opportunity here, there he goes. And it's turned away by Cote, and we have a whistle. Going to be a hooking penalty there. Kirk couldn't get the shot off as he was being hooked, but a great offensive play there. Great forecheck. So the Hillers are going to have the man advantage once again. Heading to the box, Sean Spring. Things are looking good for the Hillers of Hopkinton. Sean Walsh up against Hassett. Nice save there by Cote, another face-off win. The Hillers. Along the near side now, Gilbert puts it over. And there's a high shot. That was off the stick of Hamlet. Now taking a hit along the near side is Hamlet. Last shot was by Simos, excuse me. Simos tracks it down. Here goes Simos, racing up the far side, Simos. Closing in, and he puts it just a little bit wide. A good save there by Cote. Yeah, Cote just got the stick on that one. Gilbert, turned away by Cote. Hamlet, up behind the net, squirts it out to Walsh. Back to the blue line, just past the reach of Simos. And Cole Thomas will set it up. And Simos will take his time getting up the ice, letting that clock burn off. Under 11 minutes left to go in this third period, Sean Walsh. Racing up the near side, here he goes, closing in, looking for a shot, there's a shot, turned away by Cote, it's still out in front, and another shot turned away by Cote, off the stick of Hamlet, jammed up along the near side corner now, and Rogers trying to track it down, Franchette gets there first. I think Walsh sometimes fools the defense with just that extra speed at the end, put in another gear. Gilbert trying to race in there, now Rogers with it, pass across over to Simos. Simos was trying to flip it back up towards Rogers. Now that is turned up ice by Aslid. Simos leaves it across for Walsh. Off the stick of Hamlet. And Cote will set it up. Approaching 10 minutes left to go in this third period. The Hillers leading by four. Sheamus over to Saparoshitz. Now cross over towards Weinstock. Back to the Hillers zone now. Set up by Cole Thomas, and here comes Kirk. Back to five on five. Well, it seems like Lowell maybe is taking, off, uh, taking their foot off the gas a little bit. Yeah, and Lowell's got to go all out here. They got to start forechecking if they want to get back in this game. Hamlet pops it around to Quinlan. Quinlan puts it off the glass and back around it comes off the stick of Pickett. Weinstock 
Trying to turn it up the ice. Now that's poked forward by Kirk. Up to the near side corner it goes. Quinlan trying to leave it back out for Kirk. Now Hamlet racing in there. Kirk getting tied up with Mandeville. Good keep in there by Saperosius. Pickett gets to it, able to get it up to Hassett. Hamlet getting in there in front of Hassett. That's flipped way up off the scoreboard it goes. It's like and a Ray Guy a punt. <laughs> they chose to punt it away. Yeah, but the Hill is just doing a great job. I mean, Tommy Hamlet was one on three with a four check and he was able to keep the puck in the zone for some valuable time there. 8.43 left to go in the third period. It was nine goals combined scored in the first period. And only one goal in the second belonging to the Hillers. And we have converted into a defensive affair in the last two periods after a whole lot of offense in that first period. Leiden flips it up just past the reach of Hamlet. And now here comes Polkari. Gilbert with a little push there and getting in front of Polkari was Glyden. Hooked up over the glass. And Puck knocked out of play again. A lot of souvenirs squirting out into the crowd tonight. And all fans sticking around to see the conclusion of what has been a good battle in this state semifinals matchup. Sean Walsh up against Cameron Trull. Walsh able to come away with it. Another great face off by Walsh. Here comes Walsh. Walsh racing up the ice. Here he goes. He'll leave it for Hamlet. The shot turned away by Cote. Up along the near side now. Yeah, Passed down by Glyden. Smart play there. He just dumped that puck in the corner, not hit any shin pads, sent him the other way. Pass up over to Asselin. Now here comes Matt Asselin. And it's taken away by Rogers, who was able to flip it up towards Hamlet. Hamlet going to get to it. Along the far side, he's doing battle with Hasselin. And now Hamlet with possession. A pass up to Rogers, and that shot is turned away. Yeah. Rogers tripped on the play. Lowell's going to go down to Mayan again. Mandeville with the contact there. And now we got a little uh, pushing going on. That might have been a punch by Troll. Yeah, this is the one thing the Hill has got to be careful. 7-3, you know, Lowell's definitely going to be frustrated. The Hillers don't want to lose any of their players. They want to be playing in that next game with full complement. It looks like Rogers is going to go as well. Wow. So we might be at even strength here. I'm not sure about that call. <laughs> uh, he might have said from, something perhaps. Uh, from what sure. I saw, he was calling a trip on him. But it, it looked like the low player knocked his legs out from under him. So it looks like we will remain at even strength. And it looks like Steven Simos wanted an explanation from the official. Yeah. That's the one thing about here. we got a definitely better view up here than the referees do down on the ice. <laughs> 7.28 left to go, a 7-3 Hillers lead. Hillers fans starting with the it's all over chant, but when you're playing a team as good as Lowell, it's not over till that clock strikes zero. The Hillers have just done tremendous in the last period and a half defensively. Well, the Hillers still gonna have five people on the ice. I'm not, I am really dumbfounded what's going on. The referee signaled trip both times. But the faceoff's in the offensive zone. And Hillers have five players out there. Well, here we go. Player for Lowell now going over. So that Lowell <laughs> is going to have two in the penalty box. I think he might have got a misconduct, so I'll have to sit in there and serve it for that. Here comes Lowell on a break. DeMarco racing up the far side, looking for a shot. Simos in front of him, turned away by Thomas, and he'll wrap it up. The Hillers have the man advantage for the next minute 51. It'll be Sean Walsh up against Thomas Hassett on the faceoff. Out in front. Simos takes it behind the net and leaves it for Walsh. Here comes Walsh racing up the near side. Walsh closing in. Trying to wrap it around. Hamlet in front, and it is wrapped up by Cote. 
Nice play. Another great save by Cote. Clock stopped at 7.01 left to go. Minute 34 left to go on the power play. Mandeville gets to it. Back to the Hillers zone. Thomas will wrap it around the near side. And that was popped out of play off the stick of DeMarco. 6.47 left to go. And again, just for the Hillers, you know, just they want to keep playing that aggressive game they have and just keep playing the smart hockey. Sean Walsh up against Matt Asselin. Back to the blue line, and that one is sent into the stands from Sean Spring. You got the tall glass here, and pucks are still going out. That should, faceoff should be outside the zone. The defenseman shot that one clear out. And they will move it there. Sean Walsh up against Asselin. Up the far side, Mandeville. It's just unbelievable what a difference it has been from the first period and these last two periods. The first period, it almost seemed like both goalies couldn't save anything. Goal a minute. Right. Unbelievable. Here comes Quinlan trying to jam it in, and that is wrapped up by Cote. The Hillers had the first three goals of this game. They were up three to nothing. And then Lowell scored the next two to make it three to two. And then Tommy Hamlet struck with his second goal to make it four to two. And then Lowell made it four to three. And then the Hillers scored two more before the end of the first period. They were up six to three. And then Will Quinlan added a goal with just under a minute left in the second period, assisted by Dan Kirk. Jeff Toko in the game for I believe his first time tonight. Here comes Kotsifas. Leaves it out and the shot wrapped up. And it, it was dropped by Thomas, but he was able to get the wrap on it before Gallette closed in. 6.04 left to go, 37 seconds left on the power play. The Hillers have the man advantage, but Lowell putting the pressure on because they know that time is running out on their season. Walsh up against Hassan. Saparoshitz. Pass up to Quinlan. It's off of Quinlan, back to Hassett. Pass over to Hamlet. Hamlet hanging on to it, and he sets up Walsh. There's a shot, and it's turned away by Cote, and he will be able to Wrap it up. Good play by Hamlet. This line, they just, uh, as soon as they get control of that puck along the boards, they're immediately looking for that player coming down the slot. The, the Hillos are just playing uh, great offense, getting open and making some nice plays. We'll have another face-off in the low zone. Along the far side corner. And some good body checking there by Lowell. Here comes the Red Raiders, it, as is Franchette with possession. He had it knocked away, Aslan was able to get to it. Lowell having a tough time getting it out of their zone. Back to even strength. Franchette up the far side. Saparoshitz closing in with possession, Aslan. Aslan takes a hit into the board. Stan Kirk racing up the ice. Kirk with a shot turned away by Cote. And now another shot there out in front. I believe that was Weinstock who got the shot off. Weinstock up along the far side. Spring now with possession. Pass across over to Goulet. Under five minutes left to play in this third period. Hillers remain up by four. Goulet close again. Turned away by Thomas. Goulet takes a shot into the boards from Saparoshitz. Seamus with a good stick there to keep that rebound out. Kirk gets in there. And we'll have a whistle. It'll be a face-off. 
In the neutral zone on the offsides. 4.32 left to go. The Hillers trying to hang on and advance to the state championship. And they have a four goal lead. Things are looking good. Pass it just past the reach of Mandeville. Wrapped around the near side. Gilbert trying to catch up with it. Goulet out in front. Turned away by Glyden. And that shot turned away by Thomas from the stick of DeMarco. Woodstock flips it up. Here comes Rogers. Rogers with a shot. And a defender got in the way. Hamlet puts it just past the reach of Rogers, but Sean Walsh is there. Walsh flips it back over towards Hamlet. Hamlet along the near side gets it up to Rogers. Glyden gets the stick on it, and it's poked out of play into the Lowell bench. That was doing a good job cycling the puck, just killing that clock down. The other thing they want to look out here for is uh, Lowell's got a couple of big bodies, so they want to make sure they don't put themselves in any uh, prone positions where they're going to get any injuries here in the last few minutes. Just want to dump that puck in the corner and play some good D. Three minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the third period. The Hillers trying to advance to their first ever state championship. That shot turned away by Cote off the stick of Quinlan. Weinstock races in Quinlan with possession now. A good play down low. Closing in on three and a half left. There's a shot just wide to the left by Sheamus. Miller's doing a nice job at keeping control. Here comes Lowell with a potential break here. There's a shot just wide to the right off the stick of Benjamin Asselin. Along the far side, Spring. Simos flips it off the glass towards Quinlan. Just past his reach. Kirk. And pulled the goalie here, Kirk was a little shooken up there. He took a shot, looked like the throat by Kotsifas. Yeah, Lowell has pulled their goalie. They're desperate. Killers can Ooh. certainly close it out right here if they haven't already. Here comes Lowell. The defense. Past, that's the reach of Aslan. Well, the Hillers, is, and that shot is going to be wrapped up by Thomas. The Hillers just seem to be getting stronger every playoff game they have. Yep, they are. They just have really gelled as a unit throughout this playoff run. And we've talked about it before, but I think one of the key moves was putting Simos back as a defender. Yeah, that's his natural position, and he can still generate the offense from back there. And then, of course, Cole Thomas has been superb in that. There's a shot, <laughs> and it's turned away by nice, Thomas. Nice block or save. Well, trying to put the pressure on. They are quickly running out of time. Hiller's up by four. 220 and counting left to go. That shot turned away by Thomas off the stick of Hassett. Gilbert up against Hassett, out in front, and it's flipped up the ice and out of play. Off the stick of Simos. Clock stopped at 2.08. Well, if things hold up the way they are right now, the Hillers' journey will continue on to the TD Garden Sunday, March 17th, at a time to be determined against Wachusett, who defeated Longmeadow last night. Wachusett, the central champion, defeating the West champion Longmeadow, 4-3 to shoot out. The Hillers, the south champion, up against Lowell, the north champion right now. Here we go, wide open break, an empty net. Quinlan for the win, 8-3 Hillers. And then that is the nail in the coffin right there for the season of the Lowell Red Raiders. Will Quinlan with his second goal of the game at 157 left to go. An eight to three lead for the Hillers. And they will be heading on to the TD Garden to take on Wachusett. A familiar 26.2 mile trek. <laughs> Pass up the near side. 
Unbelievable. I mean, we knew this team was going to be pretty good, but winning that South bracket, probably the toughest sectional bracket in the state, certainly one of them. Yep, they're going to go through a lot of teams. And getting to this point and dominating a very good Lowell team, unbelievable stuff by this Hillers group. Reese Griffiths is going to track it down behind the net. Everybody going to get a chance out there now for the Hillers. Out in front, there's a shot turned away off the stick of Samos. Up along the far side boards. Back to the blue line. That shot turned away by Thomas, and it'll squirt out of play. 104 left to go. Hillers have held Lowell to three goals since the first period so far. Walsh over to Rogers. Along the near side. Walsh with possession, looking for a shot. Why not? Out in front, turned away by Cote. That puck's still loose. And Cote was able to squirt it over to the far side. Amblett wraps it around. Cote Foss trying to track it down for a little Walsh with possession. A smart play by Walsh there, just spill the clock down. Yep. Off Same. the stick of Rogers. We're under 30 seconds left to go. Under 30 seconds until you could say the Hillers are officially advancing to the state championship. Fancy fast with the pass up to Anderson. Five seconds left. And that will do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are heading on to the state championship. An unbelievable win over a very good Lowell team. And the Hillers have done it. They get the 8-3 to three win over Lowell. They are moving on to the TD Garden Sunday, March 17th. At a time to be determined to take on what shoes it. An unbelievable victory by this Hillers team. They had a 6-3 lead after the first period. It was a scoring fest in the first period. But then the Hillers defense and the tremendous goaltending of Cole Thomas shut out Lowell for the remaining two periods. And the Hillers move on as they get the 8-3 victory here tonight at the Saugus Arena in Lowell. Eric, I'm speechless. It's amazing what this team has accomplished. Definitely a Cinderella season for these guys. You know, what a way to go. And to uh, have Hopkinton having its first hockey team play at the Garden is just a tremendous effort and, and shows all the hard work that these kids have put in since the beginning of the year. It certainly has. Well, we are going to keep things right here to see if there's some kind of presentation. I don't believe there is for the semifinals, but we'll let you watch the Hillers fans make some noise for this tremendous team that is moving on to the state championship. One more win, and the Hillers can call themselves state champions. An unbelievable accomplishment by this Hillers group this season. But we're going to get down there, try to get some interviews. So we'll wrap up coverage of this state semifinals game. The final score for the final time, the South champion Hopkinton Hillers take down the North champion eight to three. The Hillers of Hopkinton moving on to the state championship Sunday, March 17th at the Garden. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Carty, I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you as always for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.